What's up, you guys? It's Justin from 49ers Talk TV. Today, I'm going to be going over if the 49ers should re-sign the veteran safety Eric Reed. Now, this goes both ways. A lot of people say no. Um, a lot of people say why? Why shouldn't they? He's played at a high level all his career, and that's that's the type of person I am. I think that it's a no-brainer to re-sign Eric Reed. He's definitely a top five, top ten safety in this league, no doubt. Um, a lot of NFL owners know that, but I think the only reason why he isn't signed yet is simply because of the national anthem protest with Colin Kaepernick. People got to realize, NFL owners and teams got to realize that he's not the one who started it. You know, Colin Kaepernick's the one that started it, and that's why he's unemployed. That, that, there's no other, Colin Kaepernick, is, there's no doubt he should be a starting quarterback in this league, and he could definitely start for uh, New York. Uh, the Jets and the Giants, he could really start for. Um... There's a lot of he could start for probably three fourths of the team in the NFL, and Eric Reed could probably be a starting safety for half of the teams in the league. People got to realize he supported Colin Kaepernick in the anthem protest. He may have he he kneeled beside him to support him. Okay, that's why NFL teams and NFL that's what I'm I'm pretty sure that's what they're they're you know not following up on. You got to realize he did this because. He supported Colin Kaepernick, okay? He should be employed. The 49ers need to re-sign him. I think it is literally a no-brainer. If we re-sign him, we could be completely down in free agency because as of right now, we've got a lot of good um, people as is. But if we re-sign Eric Reed to like a three-, four-year deal, we're, our defense is going to be set because you always want to have a veteran leader and you always want to have more depth in a position. But who knows? I I. I I don't know. I think the I think it's a no brainer for San Francisco to re sign Carlos Hyde or I mean not not Carlos Hyde, um, Eric Reed. Um I just think that he's if if it's and if you think about it this way, Con, he's unemployed. If anything, as of right now, he's he's being un, unemployed because of the national anthem protest. But you gotta realize Malcolm Jenkins, who is in he is a absolute freak, um defensive back for the Philadelphia Eagles. He took a knee or two in the beginning of the season. He didn't do it the whole season, but he did take a knee. And look where he's at. Is he unemployed? No, he's still a starting defensive back. Is he going to end up being cut? Absolutely not, because he's a top defensive back in this league as well. So there's other people around the league that are anthem protesting and are still being signed and whatnot. I think it's something to do with Colin Kaepernick. Any ties with Colin Kaepernick, I feel like they're going to be unemployed too. I feel like that's just how it's going to be. And it's really not fair for Eric Reed because he's worked hard his whole career. He's played with the high standards his whole career. He's definitely top 10, top 5 safety, as I said. And there's just no reason for him not to be employed in this league. So should the 49ers resign him? Absolutely. I think it's a no-brainer to resign Eric Reed. Um, he can help the younger safeties like Adrian Colbert. Uh, he can help Kwaski Tart. It's just no... It's just... It's kind of a no-brainer. Um, so the deal I would like to see the 49ers resign him to. Now, this is the thing. If he's not signed by June, or if he's not signed by May, obviously he's probably not going to be a 49er. There still is a possibility that he may be a 49er. It's not a completely set decision yet. Although... Free agency has just begun, and if he's not signed by May or June, I guarantee he's being blackballed by the NFL. There's just no, there's no other put to it. I mean, he's definitely better than half of the safeties in this league, and there's no point. I know there's a few teams out there who need a strong safety that's a veteran, and there's no... There's no reason he should be un unsigned. So the deal I would like to see him get if the 49ers do re-sign him is like a three to four million dollar deal. We'll say three deal, three year deal. And we can say a twenty two to twenty five million dollar deal. So then you could do like twelve of that's guaranteed, and that's a perfect deal for Eric Green. Like a three year, twenty five, anywhere from twenty five to thirty million is probably be a be a decent deal. And that's why I think the Niners should re-sign him too. So, if anything, he isn't re-signed. Um, best of luck to him. Should he be re-signed? Absolutely. There's no doubt in my mind. Um, and I'm sure a lot of 49ers fans want to see Eric Reed put on a Niners uniform again next year. But as it's looking right now, who knows? There's still there's. I wouldn't completely give up on the fact that he may not be a Niner next season because there's always another possibility. Who knows? You may get an update on your phone today saying that he just signed a new deal with the Niners, but. 
It's just all about the waiting game, man. I just don't know why he's not signed yet. There's just... I, I don't know. But for the 49ers, we have a reason not to sign him, I guess you could say, because um, Kwaski Tart has stepped up in a big role uh, just this past season when Eric Reed got injured. And he's actually stepped up and played really good football at the uh, strong safety. And I'm, I'm guessing that John Lynch and Shanahan feel comfortable with Kwaski starting at safety. And we're, all, we're obviously going to be paying him less money than we would Eric Reed. And that's I guess that's the only reason why I would see we, us not re-signing Eric Reed. It's for the simple fact that <laughs> Kwaski Tart is he, he played at a very, very, very well um rate of football when Eric Reed got injured. So that's the only reason I could see us not re signing Eric Reed. But other than that, we should re sign him. And then I think that Adrian Colbert hundred percent got the start should get the starting position over Jimmy Ward. I feel like we should trade or cut Jimmy Ward to free up a little bit of cap money and then go from there. <laughs> but as of right now, I know that um Adrian Colbert is more likely going to be starting sa or starting free safety next year, and then I'm guessing Kwaski is going to be starting safety, strong safety, um, if Eric Reed isn't signed. So hope hopefully Eric Reed gets signed, um, he gets re-signed by the Niners. But if not, I mean, I don't know, but he definitely should be re-signed, and I hope nothing is going to happen like to what happened to Colin Kaepernick, where Colin Kaepernick. Kaepernick just missed a whole year out in the NFL because of the anthem protest he's doing. It's just stupid. But, um, yeah, Eric Reed should get re-signed by the Niners. Let me know if you guys agree in the comments down below. Let me know the type of deal you want to see him get signed to. I'd say three, three to four-year deal or $30 million is a perfect deal. On, on a three-year basis, I think you should give him $30 million just because of at a high rate he's played all his career. So, other than that, that's going to wrap up for the video. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.